partnership with the University of Alabama at Huntsville, Jackson County's Skyline School has become the leader in safety for the district. Today was the first time school leaders could show us the benefits. Way 31 Sierra Phillips takes you to the school to see the impact. Those are our classroom and indoor cameras. Those are in addition to the cameras that were provided by the school system. Right now, there are more than 40 cameras like this one throughout Skyline School. The principal is one of several people who can see it through an app on his phone. The superintendent and the Jackson County Sheriff also have access. It makes me feel more safe at school. If you walk past a few of those cameras, you'll also see emergency trauma kits designed to stop excessive bleeding. In the last week, the school nurses at Skyline completed trauma training to be able to use these kits in the worst case scenario. Taking a step outside through the newly deadbolted doors is a well-monitored parking lot. This solar power device scans license plates and checks for anyone that might be suspicious in a law enforcement database. If it pings as being a dangerous person on campus, then a notification will be sent to me, other school administrators, local law enforcement agencies, the SROs, in a quick manner for us to go into a lockdown situation. The project started two years ago when the district teamed up with the University of Alabama Huntsville to fly a drone above the school and map everything out in case of an emergency. It's a time sensitive process, so this is just one more step of trying to cut that time to give you more reaction time on the other end. The principal also tells me these safety features here at Skyline High School are just the first test. In the next few years, all the safety features could be at all Jackson County District Schools. Reporting in Jackson County, Sierra Phillips, Way 31 News. The trauma training that Skyline High School nurses completed was through the University of Alabama in Huntsville's nursing program. In January, the Jackson County School nurses, teachers and administrators will have the opportunity to take the same class.